This is how you can add a sequential number to your recurring events using this Coda template. To show you the problem I'm trying to solve, let's say on Tuesday today, I have a doctor appointment and this is my first appointment, doctor's appointment one. And let's say the following Tuesday, I have the same doctor's appointment, but I want to add that two at the end. So what I normally do is I go here, duplicate, and then pick the following Tuesday, change this to two. And if I want to do this for the following Tuesday, I'll change this again, duplicate. You know, you get the pattern here. Just one way to simplify this is first, if you know you're going to be having a doctor's appointment, just make it a recurring event every week. So let's call this doctor appointment. And I'm going to say more options. Let's say repeat weekly on Tuesday, hit save. And now every Tuesday, you'll see I have that doctor's appointment, but I want to be able to add the number to the end of the event title because sometimes I want to keep track of how many doctor appointments I'm going to with the same doctor. I find this really useful if I want to keep track of doctor appointments, maybe physical therapy, if you're taking medicines every week or two weeks, things that you just have to keep track of the count of the calendar event. So this is the template I'm going to, let's actually copy this and I'll show you how it works. Copy doc. And you're gonna first have to integrate with your Google Calendar. So I'm using this fake Google Calendar account. So the first thing you have to do is search for the recurring event on your calendar. In this case, I just have an event called doctor appointment. And I'm going to go here, click on doctor appointment and hit refresh calendar. This might take a, a minute or two the first time you're doing it because it's going through all of your Google Calendar events and looking for doctor appointment. All right, it took a little refreshing, but it pulled in all of my doctor appointments going until December 17. If I want to quickly change the title of my doctor appointments to add that number, I can do something like this one two, three, and you notice there's a little blue triangle here. That means these edits are pending. If I click on send edits, this will send the um, new event title back to Google Calendar. Appointment one, doctor appointment two, doctor appointment three, and then I only did it to number three. So that's how you can quickly change all of the events if you have a handful. I have 14, I don't want to manually type in 14 to the end of each event title. So I'm going to get this back to the original state, which was everything is called doctor appointment. I have 14 different doctor appointments I want to change. And what I can do is in the sequential number, I can put one, two, three, and then just, just like an Excel or Google Sheets, I'm going to drag this down. And this now gives me one through 14. And if I hit refresh calendar, this will append this number to the end of all of these doctor appointment event titles. Now you can see it's going through each of the numbers and adding them to my Google Calendar events. And if I go back to my Google Calendar, I can now start to see one, two. It just goes through every single event and adds that number to the end. So now all my 14 Google Calendar events will now have a sequential number added to the end of it.